Okay, in this video we are going to see how to use Python scripts uh, to run and develop our model. So we are going to try to be uh, short, so i just give you an introduction on how this Python scripting works and how we manage to create our Python scripts to generate and run our models. In the first video I mentioned that this command console uh, part of the window it was useful for you, but now it's, uh, we can use it to check the different command, uh, Python commands that we want to try. So we can use this console to interact with Diana and try uh, out the different commands. First, what I'm going to do is, is generate from scratch uh, my model, the linear elastic beam with reinforced uh, steel bars and uh, the linear elastic analysis and after that we are going to see how the Diana environment creates the different Python script codes and how to use, use how we can use it to generate and develop a new models from this Python code. Well, we have now our model uh, fully developed, so we created the geometry, we created the mesh, and then we define the analysis to send to the computational uh, core, and only left to run the analysis and see the different results. Okay, we have the variable and the permanent. So we can now, for example, check displacements, y, or both, etc. The same that we have uh, already seen for the last uh, models. But now we can save and uh, we can close Diana, Diana. And then we go to our .dianaie folder. This folder is uh, usually found in the user's folder, the username, so you use the name of the, that you are using to log on to the computer, at then dot Diana IE. IE. So here you will see uh, different Python scripts. So you choose uh, the last one, so the one that has the latest uh, date, modification date. In that case is this one and then you copy it to the working folder that in my case was the Python so we copy here then we can just name it linear elastic reinforce beam okay now if we open the script file we can see the different commands that we, that Diana use uh, to interact uh, and to create the different geometry and uh, model parameters. So here you can see the creation of the model, create lines, the geometry of concrete, adding the material, adding the geometry, adding the steel geometry. So. Everything that we have done interacting with Diana was already well was registered and created its uh, specific Python command in this file. Let's delete or, or yeah delete these two lines because we don't want the the model to be closed after the running, and then we can open Diana again. Go to File, Run Safe Script. 
here we go to our uh, folder where we have the script saved and then we open the script yep fantastic so we have our model step by step done again from scratch and even with the results and the analysis run so all that we did inclusive the results uh, viewing has been registered and reproduced later on through the uh, through the python script as you see this is an extremely useful tool that uh, for some of you can be useful during the development of your task so for example we go here we want to change the geometry of the beam we don't want symmetric uh, spans anymore so we can create here 10 and then so again it's connected but uh, the first span left span is shorter than the right span so we need to change also the support uh, mid support now it's not anymore here it's, it's uh, here then and what else We suppose that the loading is at the same point so we don't need to change it yeah and the reinforcement is also the same so we can also change the geometry uh, of the reinforcement so we increase the amount of reinforcement or decrease even so for example here we increase and then we save us and we go to diana and open the run the script yeah see here you see your wait okay now this is a completely different behavior so here you see in geometry how we move we have a large span and short span but we still have the loads where we placed them before so we could mo move for example the vertex and place at the mid span here if we want we go to the script again and then we look for the vertex creation here instead 6.5 should be 5 because now the span is 10 meters and then the lo uh, we project the vertex don't forget to do the, the projection the projection and then the loading it's here now Okay, but uh, the other uh, parameters uh, should be same. So if we run the same script, now we see that the load is applied at the mid span as we define through the new script. So you see this uh, Python script, scripting has a uh, huge potential. So uh, you don't need to create every time the model from scratch. You can utilize, utilize um, the script that uh, Diana creates for the first time. Try to be uh, organized and tidy because each uh, button that you click each action that you do with Diana it's register even the letting and recreating so if I delete this line and I create a new one for example like this and then I delete it's going to be registered so when I create the model it's going to reproduce the same step by step so you should go to the script now and delete the specific parts that you don't want to be reproduced later on in the in the model and then you can define some outputs as you want some tables or whatever that you need and then uh, when you continue or when you do the same uh, analysis with the script with the Python script you will get the same exactly results 
So think uh, the how this uh, scripting can fit you and your task, and then uh, define your scripts to, to do what uh, is useful for you. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.